Chololo, vai rezar assim! I do remember, the, it wasn't my first, but I, the thing I really remember clearly uh, doing was uh, Get Me a Shotgun, uh, which um, we were then improv a lot. And my hate whitey, kill whitey thing came through, see? Because I knew that my frame of reference would work for me one time. You know what it worked? When we had a scene that was in a prison. <laughs> See what I mean? Soon as we got something that I could relate to, I came up with some shit. All right? So sure enough, Lauren didn't have anything for any of these bits. He just had the outline. He had a thing he was going to call the Death Row Follies. Right? He said, Bill, here, you go to the room, bring back something. John, here, go to the room, bring back something. Garrett, here, go to the room, bring back something. So I had nothing. Then I remembered that. Uh, first of all, I'm in prison, I'm black, I know I must have something, right? Secondly, I remember that I was in a bus one time with one of the members of the Belafonte Singers who told me a story about a uh, North Carolina 80-year-old uh, white lady who had written about four or five hundred songs and was known to have done this. She was in the audience for Art Link Letters, Truth or Consequences. His habit was to invite certain uh, generic people, neighborhood people, and show they had a gift to do this or that or the other. She was saying, no, I don't want to come on. Please, beg, I beg you, I don't want to come on. Please, and ladies and gentlemen, clap, clap, get her on. So enough, they made the lady come on to the thing, even when she was on. She said, Mr. Altman, I don't want to do it. And, that, and mind you, the guy and the Belafonte singers swear that this is true. Sure enough, finally the lady sits down and plays for Art Linkletter her best song. And it went, da-da, 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 I'm going to get me a shotgun and shoot all the I see, da 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 da, I'm going to get me a shotgun. They blacked out the TV. This was like 1950s. They blacked out the TV, okay? <laughs> this was in the middle of the 50s. They blacked out the TV. So I went to my room. I had nothing, but I did have my hate whitey kill whitey syndrome. And sure enough, out of it came, hey, Garrett, why don't you change, get me a shotgun and kill all the get me a shotgun and shoot all the whiteys. So basically, my death row folly thing that's how that got born. I'm going to get me a shotgun and shoot all the white as I see. Da, 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 da. I'm going to get me a shotgun and shoot all the white as I see. Then I add it. When I shoot all the white as I see, then whitey, he won't bother me. Going to get me a shotgun and shoot all the white as I see. It is one of my most enduring. And I want you to know, not black people, not Latins, not Asians. White people come to me and say, thank you. Thank you, Karen. You know. Anyway, I mean, no, no, I did not do that, but they do come, and and it's odd because I don't know if, no, I don't know if I had anybody black yet. It should have been somebody, a very appreciative white person, probably masochistic, but hey. <laughs>